Welcome back everyone and if you're new to this channel my name is Victor and today we'll be covering a Adobe Premiere tutorial seen in Yellow Wolf and Caskey's Just the Intro music video. We're going to be covering a transition that is seen in there that is super subtle. So subtle that I've seen the music video a bunch of times and I almost missed it. The camera is filming Yellow Wolf and then it starts to whip this way and they transition it into the 360 camera that's filming Caskey. And with a 360 camera, you can have it rotate any which way you want. But it's not just that whip that's happening. What they're doing is they're choosing an object in frame on the second clip and they're masking it in while it's transitioning so it's more of a gradual thing so in this music video they chose a light in Caskey scene now if we play this frame by frame in Adobe Premiere we can see that the light appears first and it slowly starts to become more visible for about four frames and at that point everything in Yellow Wolf's frame just starts to disappear and now we're just in Caskey scene all right, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is film your subject and then add a whip out at the end. Then on your second clip, whatever subject you're filming at that point, we're going to start with a whip in from the same direction. And the one thing that I would try to encourage you to do is match the whip speeds. Don't have one going super fast and one whipping super slow. All right, go ahead and import your footage into Adobe Premiere and then trim those clips to the point where they're in the middle of the whip. So we've got some of that motion blur going on. All right, now place your second clip, the one that is whipping in, under your first clip. This transition lasts eight frames, so just go from eight frames from the end of your first clip and have it start there. Now on that top clip, with only eight frames being left, go ahead and hide it, but make sure it's selected because we want to be masking an object from that second clip, but on that first clip. So in my clip specifically, we'll be masking that window lighting transitioning in. So move forward just one frame and then draw that mask around your object and then turn on your mask path keyframes. Now quick tip, if you haven't masked before in Adobe Premiere and you want to be able to curve the lines of the mask like I am, you just click and hold and then drag and that will create those little handles that you can then adjust if you would like. Now don't just choose any random object, choose something that's on the side of the frame that will then transition in. Now move forward four frames and then adjust the mask as needed Needed for how big that object now is in frame. You want to make sure that that object's staying perfectly inside the mask. Now I start scrubbing back to the beginning of that mask and making any adjustments as needed in case the keyframes don't perfectly blend as they move. Now make that clip visible and then don't forget to bump up your mask feather so that the mask edges have a nice blend to it. Now return to that first mask path keyframe and then back up one frame. You should be at the beginning of that transition. Now we just want to take that mask and move it out of sight off frame. All right, now click on that bottom clip and make sure that you're at the beginning of that transition and turn on the opacity keyframes and change that value to 45%. Now move forward five frames and change the opacity value to 75. If you don't wanna just hit the arrow on the keyboard for five frames, you can hold shift and click the arrow and that will move you forward or backwards five frames depending which arrow you're clicking on. Now move to where that first clip ends, but you're still on that second clip, change the opacity to 100%. Now if you just scrub through, just try and make sure that that opacity isn't too dark when it appears or too bright and jarring because the point of this transition is to be subtle. Now return to that top clip and go to that last mask path keyframe that you set and turn on the mask opacity. Now just scrub to the end of that top clip and change the mask opacity to zero. And then boom, you're done. That is how you do the transition transition scene in Yellow Wolf and Caskey's Just the Intro music video. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one.